One of my philosophies when casting and designing the voices for these characters in the game is to first take a look at how the characters have been portrayed in spoken word media. The secret to getting the best performance out of the actor is casting. If you have the right actor in the booth playing the right character, your job is 90% done. We work very closely with Marvel and they kind of tell us, you know, how they envision the sound of these voices should be as well. Each character has their own lengthy script of lines that they will use when interacting with enemies, team with friends. Let's hustle! And when we fly down to Los Angeles, Oh, and work at a studio called Studiopolis, who handles tons of Marvel stuff in addition to, you know, our game. There's definitely some actors and some voices that are going to be recognized in this game. Our Spider-Man, Wolverine, Captain America, all these voices have appeared in other games or other animations. I'm really, really grateful to be able to play Wolverine over and over again and to make sure that my Wolverine is, is true for the fans, too. It's a lot of fun, you know, there's a lot of ad-libbing, there's a lot of improv. Your eyes really are blue! On top of the, you know, the lines are really well written. We kind of sculpted what the voice should sound like. We came up with just the right amount of evil and pompousness. You insipid trolls! After you've established the character from a first session, the next sessions, for me, just seem to come. I can tap into any character that I need to once I've already done him or her, even once, and then you just bring them out. They just come out to play. They have such great experience playing these characters. They know the characters inside and out. I've got more where that came from. With video games, I'm always recording alone. When you're in the booth, it's you and it's your lines. You show up, there's a script in front of you. Typically, We've been doing it for so long that we actually don't even need to read it in advance. And in a video game, the scripts are gigantic. You kind of just like go down the page. Usually it's obvious what's going on. Generally we record just in one giant recording file. We don't stop a lot during the session. Your lines are categorized into hits, <coughs> boosting up. Thanks for the boost. Player has selected you. Greetings, comrade. It's a wonderful challenge to the creative imagination because you don't have all the visuals. You have to, you have to supply that with your voice. I mean, give them three completely different takes so they have something to choose from. And be able to deliver, you know, lines with sarcasm or wryness or dry wit and, and know what the difference between the three of them all are. It always kind of turns out that the first time you record it, it usually is more spontaneous and more true to character. It's pretty fast paced. Often on the spot they'll come up with other lines or something will change and you have to really be ready to jump in. It's really exciting. We have good relationships with these actors. We know each other very well. So a lot of the direction can be done with shorthand. Asking an actor to billboard a certain section of his dialogue or a certain word just means to give that word or that section a little lift. Ooh, blunder! They'll use analogies in life and they'll say like a little more musical. Sometimes they'll have to say take the music out of it. Just more like conversation, like talking like this instead of talking like this. Throw it away just means don't make so much of it, less acting. And then throw it away. Don't mess with mutants. Really, it's just a quick way for us to get exactly what we want. One of the big challenges about doing these games with a lot of fighting in them is being careful to not burn the actor out. <laughs> no one! Even when my voice is a little tired, I can still go into the character's voice. Yeah, I mean, anytime you have to do this for four hours straight and then yell on top of that and yell again and again and again, especially in the games, you want to schedule that at the end of your day. Sometimes I actually put Steve's face in my head when I'm making fun of Wolverine, and we, we laugh about it all the time. With the thing, the touchstone for me is my Uncle Joe. Hey, shorty. That, that, that's how I remember Uncle Joe. I would often close my eyes and, and, and imagine the scene uh, you know, swinging you know, through the city, or whatever was happening. So I would, I would, it's a physical thing. Part of being a voice actor, I think you have to sort of be schizophrenic and a little bit off your rocker. And I'm a little bit of both of those. You can't take a psychopath like Deadpool home with you. That's just not a good mix. We just like to leave them in a, in a little corner in a box here at the studio and pull them out only when necessary. After the recording is done and uh, circle takes have been called out during the recording session, a head and a tail is put on each circle take file maybe some level adjustment, maybe some EQ adjustment, make them sound just right, and we send them off to Gazilla. We have a team of audio designers that pay really close attention to all of the different sound effects that have been established in other things. So Spider-Man's web thwips sound like they should sound. And then once they're implemented into the game, you'll be able to hear the quips and sound effects and voices that you, you come to expect. Right in the giblets. The fact that a villain like Modoc is in the game is really, really cool to me. He's somebody who fans of Marvel Comics love, but nobody outside of Marvel Comics knows who this guy is. So they'll start getting insight into all these other great characters, these gems. It's not hard to get an immense depth of character range, references here and there, that makes that hardcore Marvel fan feel like 
This is the Marvel Universe I know. Voiceover plays a huge role in the game, and for me, it was great because now the voices in my head are actually, will be voices in your head. Go to MarvelHeroes.com. Pick up a Founders Pack at MarvelHeroes.com. Make sure you pick up the Colossus Pack. Pick up the Wolverine Pack, Bob. Sign up for the beta at MarvelHeroes.com. Squirrel power!